Welcome to In the Kitchen here on Living the Florida Life. We're excited today to be in the kitchen with Nick Hartzer talking about Deep Lagoon Seafood. It is one of the greatest seafood restaurants here in South Florida. Fast growing, they're getting ready to open up their second location here in South Florida in Fort Myers. One of the great things about this restaurant and truly unique to Florida is they work right out of the seafood case which makes their fish so fresh. So Nick, thanks for being here today. Absolutely, thank you for having me, Kevin. So tell us what we're gonna be making today on the grill that's obviously a fish dish. Yeah, it's a definitely gonna be a fish dish. It's one of our most popular sellers. It's in our uh, specialty items on our menu. Uh, we take a fresh cut of triple tail, which is a light, white, flaky fish. Uh, it's very, very good. It's one of my favorite fishes in the world. Very similar to grouper, uh, very similar to Corvina. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a nice, light chili rub. It's not spicy, it's a little bit sweet, uh, so you don't have to be worried if you're not one of those people that like hot food. Uh, we're gonna pan sear it, pop it in the oven, make sure it's cooked all the way through. It's gonna be served with a little bit of uh, saffron Spanish rice, awesome. uh, some grilled baby asparagus, and then we have a very nice, light avocado salsa on top. And then, of course, our signature grilled lemons that go on the side. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to see what we're going to do on the griller. Absolutely. So let's jump over to the grill and let's see how we're going to do let's this. Let's get cooking. All right. All right, Nick, we're here at the grill. Let's see what we're making. All right, we're going to get our pan nice and hot. That's the key thing about cooking fish. People sometimes forget that uh, it doesn't have to be a nonstick pan. As long as your pan is very hot. You see how uh, it's smoking already? we got a little extra virgin olive oil in the pan. Make sure our temperature is just right. You don't want it too hot. You don't want it too cold. We have our nice piece of marinated chili rub triple tail right here. Awesome. We're gonna take it away from the fire so it doesn't catch. Put her in there. You can tell it's already not sticking. Put that pan back on the heat. Give her a little slide. Add in some white wine. Oh, nice. Always want to deglaze a little bit of white wine so the fish does not stick, but it will still get a nice color on it. Oh, that smells fantastic. Absolutely, and you know, gotta have a little bit of whole, cold, unsalted butter. Oh, yeah. We're gonna take that. We're gonna let that start to caramelize just a little bit. We'll flip it over. We're gonna put it in our nice hot oven. This fish is very quick, very quick cooking. Okay. Uh, it only takes about five, six minutes. The oven's about 550 degrees. So if you're doing this at home, you wanna turn your oven up to about 400 and add just a few more minutes just before, okay. you know, just to make sure that it's done. But once the fish starts to flake and start to pull apart, you know you're ready to go. Awesome. Just one thing you never wanna do is overcook it. All right, now if you don't mind, I'm gonna slide right by yeah, you absolutely. after I flip this over. Yep. Nice chili glaze right on top. Into the oven we go. How long are we putting that in there for? About five to six minutes. Okay. And she'll be ready to go. Awesome. Let's let that cook here and then we'll come right back and we'll see us plate the dish. Absolutely. Got a little bit of uh, our saffron Spanish rice going right into that pan. Try not to make too much of a mess. In about 30 seconds that'll be done. Maybe asparagus. It's been blanched and shocked. What that means is that we put it in a pot of boiling water ahead of time. And as soon as it's cooked perfectly, we take it out, we shock it in ice cold water. We're laying the hottest part of the grill right here. Roll it around for a little while till we get some grill marks. And this will be the vegetable for our chili rub triple two. All right, Nick, let's see our finished dish here. Obviously, I've been sitting here on the sidelines, but excited to see this. Not only that, I'm excited to taste it. Well, this is an easy one. We got our uh, saffron, Spanish rice. We've sauteed in a little bit of garlic butter. I like putting a little bit of garlic in there. My mom always used garlic, help me go to sleep. I'm gonna come right over here. We're gonna grab our perfectly grilled baby asparagus. Awesome. Right off the grill, nice and fresh. Nice big portion, right dead center. Then out of the oven, we have our perfectly seared chili rub piece of triple tail. This is an eight ounce piece, so every portion that we have here at Deep Lagoon is a nice, fresh, beautiful, large entree. You guys can't stress enough because you work right out of your seafood. Right out of the seafood so case. Just we we actually, as fresh can be. This is fresh, fresh can be. We actually have a seafood uh, case worker that is usually cutting fish throughout the night because uh, we are that busy. That is great. So we have a little avocado salsa. It's just like a little pico with some fresh avocado that's hand cut right on top. Nice and juicy, gives a little bit of, uh, a little bit of flavor. Not too much, obviously. Charred lemon to go with it. Garnish for that. We're gonna do a little bit of fresh herbs around the outside edge of the plate, and there you go. That's as good as it gets. As good as it gets, there you go. All right, well that's gonna do it for us here in the kitchen today. Nick Hartzer from Deep Lagoon, thanks for joining us. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Love having you here on the show. Want more information about Deep Lagoon? We're gonna put this recipe up after the segment, but that's gonna do it for us today in the kitchen. Until next time, we'll see you in the kitchen.